Hi, I'm Cephas Richard III, a trial attorney with Johnson, Voorhees, and Martucci. Part of my job is to help people who've been seriously injured in car wrecks. Now, of course, some of those car wrecks can be avoided through better and safer choices by that other driver. And on the other hand, some of the injured people can also make better and safer choices. That's what's gonna take us over to Eggleston Chiropractor today, where we'll talk with a car seat safety technician who's gonna show us how we can make better and safer choices for our own kids. Let's go. Hi, I'm Blythe Eggleston. I'm a certified child passenger safety technician with Eggleston Chiropractic and Rehab. The leading cause of death of children are injuries sustained in a car crash. There are many steps you can take to ensure and increase your child's safety. The first step we're going to be taking today is performing an actual car seat check. The first step in ensuring your child's safety is to make sure that they are properly restrained within the car seat. First thing to take note of is the harness strap, which is the actual belt that holds your child in. If your child is forward facing, such as this young man, the shoulder strap, the harness strap will need to come out at or above shoulder level. If your child is rear facing, it will need to come out at or below. Good job. These are at this right and one right here is at the proper location as it is slightly above his shoulder level. The second step of ensuring your child's safety while they're as they're restrained in the seat is the harness clip. As you can see here, the harness clip is located at armpit level, which is the correct location. The third thing you need to take note of is the tightness. A child needs to be very secure in the seat and needs to be fairly tight. To ensure that you have the correct tightness, you perform what's called a pinch test on the actual webbing and harness. Your fingers should just slide off the harness. You should not be able to pinch any of the harness material. One key decision parents need to make is how they want to secure the car seat into the car. There are two systems available. The first one is the seat belt, which all parents are familiar with. And the second one is the latch system, which stands for lower anchors and tethers for children. They are both equally safe as long as they are used correctly. However, you must use one or the other. You cannot use both systems together. In this situation, we have chosen to use the latch system. We have latched down here within the car, which is equipped with the latch system. And to ensure your child's seat is tight enough in the seat, you always want to put your hand at the belt path and try to move the seat. It should not move more than one inch. The second part of the latch system is the tether part. The tether part will usually strap behind the seat to a tether anchor. You want to ensure that this is tight enough as well. There are two other issues that parents need to be concerned about. The first one is what we call unregulated products. It's tempting to purchase toys and seat protectors for your child in their car seat. We ask you to reconsider this. Those items are unregulated and have not been crash tested. Please keep toys and any other item that do not come with the car seat away from your child. The second consideration is possible projectiles in your car. As a mother of three myself, I understand how difficult it is to keep cars tidy and clean, but the most unsuspecting item can turn into a projectile in the course of a crash. Well, I'm sure hope that was helpful for you. I know my kids are very pleased and thankful for Ms. Eggleston's work and making their car seats a whole lot safer. Now, if you're ever seriously injured or been involved in a car wreck with no fault of your own, feel free to give us a call here at 479-271-8585 or visit us on the web at www.forstatelaw.com.